Hey guys, I just bought this for working in Blender. This is the 3D connection Space Mouse Wireless and it's pretty awesome. The Amazon link where you can buy this thing is in the video description and while you're down there, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's jump into Blender and see what this thing can do. So usually viewport navigation in Blender uses the middle mouse button. So we can zoom in and out with the wheel, we can use the middle mouse button and, you, and move the mouse to rotate and we can hold down shift on the keyboard and then pan the viewport left, right, up and down. Okay, so for example, over here, if I'm looking at this from the right side and let's say this is my view and I want to zoom in to look at this, this blue circle thing in the middle here, I would have to go scroll in, then I can rotate around with shift, I can move, I can zoom in again, move again and then with this selected, I can rotate around this selected object. By the way, this is a setting for uh, navigation. So in your preferences, you enable orbit around selection. And then with that selected, you orbit around that object. Now let me do the same move again, but now using the space mouse. I can pull an object or the viewport closer to me by simply pulling the space mouse closer to me. I can rotate and fly and move, I can pan, tilt and rotate in every direction. So left, right, I can rotate this way, I can rotate up and down, I can bring in, push back and I can even move the viewport up and down or left and right by pulling the space mouse up and down or pushing it left and right just like in and out. So the space mouse has or what's called six degrees of freedom. And the settings for this, uh, you can set inside of Blender in the preferences within uh, input. And here you have the end of, which stands for numbers of degrees of freedom, I guess. And these are my settings. I changed these a little bit around. So this is the sensitivity for the space mouse. Uh, it was a little bit too fast with the default settings. I have it on orbit and trackball. I am using a show the orbit center, which you can see when I move here, you can see this little blue dot. See, this is like the orbit center. And the software picks what your center is. And I have also enabled use selected items to influence the orbit center. So now since uh, this blue thing is selected, I'm basically uh, orbiting around the blue part there. If I select the, the base here, the black base, you can see now the black base is selected. Now, one of the settings is regarding the camera view. So if I hit zero on the numpad and I'm in camera view, you can see I can move the viewport. I can move it up and down. I can move it left and right. I can zoom in and out, but I can't, if I rotate, nothing's rotating. So I'm not switching out of the camera view. Uh, into a different view where I can rotate. I'm stuck into the camera, stuck in the camera view. And that's this setting here. I can lock camera pan zoom. If I switch this off and I'm in camera view and I get out of, I, I rotate, I jump out of camera view. So if I go back into camera view and I rotate, I jump out of camera view. Okay, so with this on, if I'm ca in camera view, then I can only pan and zoom. Now there's one thing, one setting, and maybe someone out there knows how to do this, but there's one thing that's a little bit annoying, and that is this lock camera pan zoom feature that I just showed does not apply to the, the orthographic views. Like for example, numpad 3 gives me the view from the right side. And I can again pan zoom, but I cannot rotate out of this. Or if I hit numpad, numpad 1 for front view, again, pan, zoom, but I can't rotate out of this. I can, however, rotate out of this with my middle mouse button. I wish that I would be able to rotate out of this, maybe sort of a, a threshold, maybe, you know, if I really want to switch out of this, and if I really rotate the space mouse heavily, then I maybe jump out of this. And I don't know, there's no setting for this, uh, as far as I know. Maybe someone knows how to do this. Um, the way I do it is I hit on pad five, which switches between um, the ortho and the perspective view. And as soon as you do that, you can rotate. You can also switch back into ortho and still rotate. 
But as if I hit numpad one, now I'm stuck in front view. If I want to get out of it, I have to switch. I have to do something. I can also do one and then hit a six, you know, for rotating. Four and six rotates. So one and then six, or oops, one and then six, for example, and then I'm out of the front view and I can rotate. So yeah, maybe someone knows how to do this. However, I think that especially for recording tutorials, compared to this zoom and then move and uh, 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 rotate, especially the zoom, because with the mouse wheel, I mean, I know you can do control and then zoom in and out with the mouse like this, but still, I think this for recording tutorials is much smoother, don't you? Let me know in the comments down below. And here is another scene. We can move in and out. We can rotate, look at the top of this can, look at the bottom of this can, bring it in, look at the lion logo, in and out, rotate the can like this. Everything just with the space mouse. And of course, this works in all the viewports. And uh, you select which viewport you want to control simply by moving your mouse. In my case, I'm using my right hand for the mouse. So hovering over here, I'm controlling this. Hovering over here, I can control this viewport. And it also works in these 2D viewports. So I can zoom in, out, pan tilt, and of course over here too. Yeah, so this is the 3D connection as Space Mouse. I got the wireless version. There's also a wired version. It's a little bit cheaper, which has a USB connection then to your computer. Uh, you just charge this one through USB. I am not affiliated with 3D connection. They're not paying me to make this video or anything. I just bought this with my own money. I think it's a cool tool. It also has uh, two buttons, uh, which you can program with uh, keyboard shortcuts. So your favorite or most used uh, keyboard shortcut, you can put right onto this button. And it's also really heavy. It doesn't move at all when you push around the joystick. One of the coolest things about this is also that now navigating through the viewport is the same for me in Blender and Fusion 360, because until now there's different uh, keyboards and mouse presets and you always have to switch back and forth. And I always do this, the, the wrong move when I use either one. Um, so now with this, it's completely the same. It's always th the same behavior in the 3D viewport. Um, it's like grabbing the viewport and then like pulling it up or down or moving it, pushing it away or towards you and rotating and all that. It's completely the same. By the way, this thing, as soon as you have the driver software installed, it just works out of the box. You just install the driver and that's it. Connect Bluetooth. It's fine. And it also works like in a browser and whatever, wherever you can scroll up and down or left and right. You can just go like this and you can scroll really smoothly uh, through any software, really. If you have any tips or questions about this and something I need to try out, or like I said before, if you know how, if there's maybe a setting where I can jump out of the front or, or the side view by pushing it really hard or something, uh, that would be awesome. Please comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.